our YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to get mini scores of 400 marks, if you want all the pupils in your class to get over 400 marks, we have this man who has been uh, teaching social studies. He has managed to be position one in Kenya consecutively in social studies. He's going to share with us. Chandenis, introduce yourself. Yes. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank God. My director is saying you increase your forum. Okay. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank the Almighty the God for letting me be here and also to thank you for having me here today. My name is Dennis Mutunga Mudiani. I'm a teacher from Machakos County. Yes. Where are you teaching? Currently, I'm teaching in, in Meru County, Igebe Sendro, at a place known as Africa Elite Schools. It's a group of schools, actually. Wow. Yeah. This man is now teaching in big schools. Yes. Uh, this man, uh, teacher Dennis, has done P1. He's now doing his bachelor's in education. Yes, yes. The man is growing and uh, he has become a national finger especially when he, he has been leading in Kenya consecutively. Teacher Dennis, yes, sir. how have you been managing this uh, big means course? First of all, in the year 2021, March after COVID-19, I managed to get a means score of 85 with uh, the learners. The following year, I managed to get a means score of 84.48. So I, I have been getting 84 and above in okay. those two years. You have asked me a good question. How have been managing eh? First of all, I think I finish the syllabus at the right time and I do a lot of revision and I use a lot of mnemonics in teaching this subject. When should a teacher complete the syllabus? A serious teacher should uh, try his level best to terminate his syllabus at the end of the first term. They usually say that uh, there are slow learners in class, so that is the big reason they don't cover syllabus on time. Mm -hmm. Comment on that. Wow. On slow learners and the first learners in class, first of all, just go with the first learners. The slow, learn, the slow learners will catch them at, 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 at the time of revising. So you mean, as I'm teaching, I should use group work and the peer teaching so that the first learners can be, teach the slow learners? After terminating the syllabus, yeah. can you form the groups? And these groups, I think, they have been uh, helping me to, to catch up with all the learners, regardless of their abilities. Yes. Tell us, uh, do you have uh, those uh, night classes? Do you teach at night, weekends? My previous school, I used to teach uh, at uh, early, early in the morning, around 5 a.m. I was in class. At night, from 7 p.m. up to 9.30 p.m., I was teaching. About now, tell us. About now? Because we want, yeah. Because now it is the last KCP in, in Kenya. We are doing the same thing. Okay. Yes. Uh, teacher Dennis, tell us about revision, how you have been doing your revision in uh, social studies. Okay. After, after finishing your syllabus, then sour. just now you group your topics by topics. For example, if it's topic one, physical environment, you revise a physical environment from topic, uh, from grade five, that is class five, up to class eight. Physical environment only. From there you go to the second, that is the people and population from grade five up to class eight. Wow. So I teach... Topic by topic. I know one big secret which you don't want to disclose is that mm -hmm. you are either in a, 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 a book of social studies where you have mnemonics. Yes. Comment about that, teacher Dennis. Can you give the secrets? It is the last KCV. We are not uh, competing. One of the pupils to get it in uh, social studies. It was a secret agenda. I have a book of social studies, but I've not had it. I've been using it since 2018 up to now. I only with, with the men so you are ironing the book? Yes, I'm, I'm ironing the book. G give us some mnemonics you have in social studies. Because I realize this man, when he goes in class, he starts uh, a song, the pupils, they follow. Mm -hmm. In exams, the pupils are singing. They use the songs to answer questions. Tell us about the songs. The songs, I have a lot of them. They are countless. From topic one up to the last topic, I've been using the main things on the on songs and other mnemonics like uh, acronyms. You understand? So... I can give you some of the songs. Yes. Or one. Yeah. Same sour. Mm -hmm. In topic one, in, in class five, we have rivers with their sources and where they drain their water. For example, with this one. Zoia ya la mongu si kuja si omara migori nyando son to miriu. They all drain to Lake Victoria, Talquel, Kerio, Omo, to Lake Chokana. 
Malewa wanjo yitu lek nevosha. Ewa sonyiro no turori ya nsomu. Ewa sonyiro south to lek natron. Tanzania. That how, is one of the songs. How will the pupils use the song? They will be asked. The following are rivers in Kenya which drain to Lake Trukana. And they will sing the song. So in, it is a multiple choice. So they will be either He, Chalquel, B, Omo, C, other river, and the other river. So they will sing Chalquel, Kerio, Omo, to Lake Trukana. And they can use elimination method or that. Yes. Okay. But sometimes the friend will have the song, but the learners, they don't know how to. To, sing, to answer the questions, Malim, you have to to teach them on how to sing the song, to answer the question well, and use the mission method of the song. That, that, that's why teacher Dennis uh, is free. You can invite him in his in your mm, schools. Yes. You will teach the pupils as well as the teachers how to use these mnemonics to answer questions in social studies. This man has uh, benchmarked with uh, many schools, with Fare. Uh, Central. Nyanza also are, are wow, Kenya. wow. Yes. <laughs> this man has moved around <laughs> Kenya yes. doing his thing. He's a celeb in social studies. Yes. Uh, tell us about the exams, teacher Dennis. Wow. Exams, eh? Yeah. Social studies is all about repetition. The more you give the, your learners the, the exams, the more they are going to master the content. So, teachers, let's try our level best to give a lot of exams to our learners. How frequently are you advocating those exams? After terminating your syllabus, you can have uh, you can have this strategy of, of giving out your exam to learners. For example, two exams per week is very very un understandable for them. For example, one during the weekdays, like on Wednesday, and the other one during the weekend. But we if your school is not aboarding, you can give them on Friday and on Tuesday after finishing your syllabus. Oh wow! I know. After finishing the syllabus, we need these exams yes. so that they can motivate teachers to continue teaching and looking into topics which yes. they never understood. Yeah. Remember, in CMBC, we are calling them diagonistic <laughs> exams. Uh, it is good when we give uh, more. Uh, yeah. Teacher Dennis has commented about weekends, mm -hmm. weekend classes. Even in public schools, I suppose I support that pupils can go to school at weekends. And the exams can be done in weekends in order to create time for revising other materials. Teacher Dennis uh, is a big resource. It can be used in uh, any school. He's teaching uh, social studies uh, in uh, all the classes. All the classes. From grade one to class one. From class five up to grade eight. When we were doing eight four four, you could teach social studies from what class to what class? From grade four up to class eight. Or should you teach social uh, CRI because we know social studies? This and the CRI are the same things. In my case, I've been teaching the, both of the subjects, that is social studies and CRI, to avoid the blame games. At the end of the uh, at the end of the year exams, you will hear, oh, this teacher of social studies has failed me, or this teacher of CRA has, has failed me. So to avoid all the blame games, let one teacher to handle that subject. Okay, tell us about uh, about uh, the, 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 the... The CRI mm -hmm. and the social studies. Which books do you propose to teachers in Kenya for now? For now, you must first of all adhere with the with the primary course book book the the primary course book that is the primary social studies that is for teacher. But when you give a, a learner that book to teach, it is very boring actually. Yeah? So we have other revision books like distinction social studies that. Is, that I've been using since 2020 up to date I'm using it also we have another book known as mentor social studies in CRI side mentor not mentor mirror CRI and intensive CRI wow yes. thank you teacher and Dennis for giving us time and sharing with us uh, more about your social studies mm -hmm. uh, give out your number if they want to call you so that you may go as a motivational speaker in different schools yeah my number is 07024948828. I may repeat 07024948828. If you want to get those big mini scores, look yes. for this man. Your school will be position one in Kenya. Remember, in social studies, we don't just have any teacher. A teacher must have strategies for them to get. Uh, you said uh, you first got a mini score of? It's a 5.8. Then you went? 
24. Then this year, which uh, mean score do you think you would get? Last year it was a bit uh, tricky, and that exam tricked more learners. So this year I think it will be a, a bit flexible for them. So I can go up to the musical of 86 or 87, it goes really. Or teachers, you are challenged in <laughs> Kenya. <laughs> you can compete with this man. Is Thank time? you, teacher Dennis, <laughs> Thank you. for having you today. Yes. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you.